Hello, my friends, and Happy New Year to you all. I thought it might be fun to try another landscape today. Uh, I mixed, I'm using Arteza pouring paints, but um, I've mixed custom paints just so I get kind of muted colors. I don't want a real bright landscape like the last one I did was looked silly. Um, so I've, they're all custom and I can't tell you what I did. I just kind of added to it until I got muted colors that I wanted. I, I added um, like gray and lavender to a green to get this color. And uh, this was phthalo green, which I added some red and black and white. I, I don't know. I just mixed and matched a lot. <laughs> this is pretty. This was just black and bron um What is it called? Yeah, bronze, which looks copper to me, and uh, came up with this nice metallic brown. Um, so you can see this was, this was actually mixed, this pretty blue there, but it was just too bright. So I added black and gray to it to come up with this. It's still pretty, a dark, dark teal, I guess you'd call it. And anyway, those are the colors, but I thought I'd put a twist on it and brush paint a sky. So I'm going to do that for you, with you, and I hope you'll give it a try. So I'm going to paint the uh, top. I'm just going a little further than uh, halfway down, and then my landscape will overlap that. So I'm just using some cerulean blue white and then I put a little bit of this gray purple out on the palette um, might use that some of it went into the white so <laughs> I will be using it so let's just start with mixing some mid-tone blue lots of white And I'll take some of this purple and add it. To part of the pile. So just by using the palette knife, I've mixed several shades of blue. Got at least four. One, two, three, four, and I still have white and blue and lavender left. So I'm using a, a nice soft flat brush and a little water on it. I'm gonna start with the dark blue and just slip slap some color on at the top. I'm dipping back into. I'm not just using the colors I mixed. I'm going into the straight out of the tube colors as well. And don't worry about these brush marks. We will get rid of them as we move along. The sky is typically darker at, at the top. I'll throw a little lavender in there as well. And gets lighter as you head down towards the horizon line. Work, I'm, I'm doing an X stroke. Very, it's called slip slap. So I'm going to that just very fast. And I should probably paint the sides. I, I could come back and do it, but um, I'll quickly paint the sides of the canvas while I'm at it trying to kind of match what's on top so I will go a bit lighter as we get down here so you can see that gradation there that 
think that's even a little bit darker. That's a little better. I can come back and and clean up any little holes, but it's kind of covered now. So back to the back to this. Now I'm seeing a terrible glare. I think it's okay for you. I hope. Okay, now I'm gonna throw in some white areas to suggest clouds. We don't, just to add a little interest to the sky. And all right, now I'm gonna take a mop brush. It's kind of like a woman's makeup brush, very, very soft. And I'm going to do the same stroke, but very, very lightly to eliminate any brush strokes. It will gently blend the colors together and eliminate any harsh lines. If you were to rub this on your skin, you would barely feel, just tickle you. So very, very light touch. I, I have to tilt it so I can see what I'm doing and then I'll show you. Finished. I could have gotten much fancier and added all sorts of colors in the sky, but um, I wanted to limit it, make it as simple as possible. I think that's rather pretty. Turn around so you can see. I hope you can see that without a glare. Okay, so that's our sky. And let's just touch up the sides there. Okay, I'm going to pop these in the water and move this aside. Oops. Okay, now the scary part. That was the easy part. <laughs> now, what to do? Um, I think, again, I want some distant mountains. I, I'm not going to do a swipe. The last time, well, let me show you the last. I'm almost embarrassed to show you, but here's the dried result of the last landscape I did. And I think the sky was pretty... And the mountains were okay, but really not happy with um, the foreground. It looks like the perspective is way off. It looks like a waterfall more, and it was supposed to not look like that. I may try um, embellishing with a brush and fixing it up, but probably not. <laughs> so rather than a swipe, I'm going to do um, ribbon and flip cups for the rest of the landscape. Just my first try on it, so be patient, <laughs> and possibly the last. So for things in the distance, they're lighter in color. So I'm going to use a little of this blue. And this kind of gray-green. I'm going to pause a moment. I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. One moment. Okay, I'm back. And I think I'll layer that. Do two layers 
of that blue and no, you know, I'm going now I'm going to go straight from the bottle and add some of this um, silver gray. Of course, you don't have to use um, ready mix paints. I'm just using them for convenience, but you can mix up your own paints and do this. Okay, here we go. How shall I do? I think I'll pour kind of a jiggly thing. Or not. No, I don't like that. All right. I don't like that, so I will kind of swipe it. There's no silicone. Maybe that's uh, that'll be okay. That should be okay. All right, that's not bad. It's a little lumpy. I'm going to have to move it. Um, actually, I'm liking that better now, so... Come on. Okay, well, that's kind of nice. Now what? Um, well, I think I'm going to, over here, no, I think I'll do the, this part first, and then I'm going to do some trees, like, that are more in the foreground, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the greens. Let me think here. The last, the first thing in is going to be the last one out, and I want it lighter. So I'm going to start pouring down here and work my way up. So I'm going to start light. Oh, what <laughs> a dope! I'm just pouring the whole thing in there. You should have used this as my cup. Um, this was a mix of, I think sea green and a little bit of yellow and white to come up with a pale green. What an idiot. It's a very pretty color. I probably should have mixed some more. All right, now the um, kind of gray green again. That's sort of working there. I ran the palette knife through that, and I'm not going to for this other part. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Just was thinking might be a good thing to do. Um, I'll add some of the dark here. And I'm going to add. I'm going to add some lavender straight out of the bottle. This is pretty bright. I'm a little concerned about this color. What if I add some more silver to it? It lightened it. It's still pretty, pretty.
pretty bright, but oh well. Okay. Okay, folks, here we go. I'm going to kind of do a ribbon pour up this, starting at the bottom. I need more of that light green. I'm going to have to mix some real quick. Let's see, what did I do? I think I used sea green. Oh, or not. I don't know. That's very different. There was some yellow. See what we get one. That's better. It's not what I had before. Maybe some of that gray. Oh, it's right here. Well, it's not what I had before, but it's a nice light green. So that here. And just for continuity, I'll sprinkle some down here. Okay, now I forgot gloves. Sorry, folks. You know, you think you're prepared, and then it's always something. All right, I'm going to go back and forth. I want to maintain this uh, striation. And then with a little movement, that's pretty. I like the way that curves. But I've got to fill in the gap there and fill in the other holes. So... Oh, I love the dark brown in there. Hmm, I'm running off in what I see as an ugly part. On the left there. Okay. Now, actually, the edges here look quite pretty. This is the only place where um, it's not covered on the side. So I'll just pour this here. I'm going to go over the edge there. Okay, now I've got a gap here. What to do? Um, I do want a, a, a good horizon line. That would be the base of these hill things. So I'm just going to take this palette knife and run it across. And that didn't do much of anything. <laughs> I don't have any paint there. I'm going to have to tilt up again. 
or I know what I'll do. I'll fill, I'll try to fill in that little gap. I'll try to do a horizon line with what I have from my first cup there. Or second cup, I guess it was. And I missed the, the gap there. Well, that's weird. <laughs> oh, dear. I saw that happening and I kept going. I hope you don't mind me just fiddling here like this, but I'm, you know, I've not done this before. This is all new. I kind of like it, folks. I'm afraid. I am afraid to do, to try trees, because what if I mess it up? Let me turn around and show you. It's very modern looking right now. I mean, I it, it could be complete, but it's just a little too half and half and too empty up here. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to try. Why not? Let's I'm going to try to do some tree kind of things there. So I can turn it back to me. So I have this. Um, dark gray blue dark gray blue and I have a little of the green and I have some of that brown dark brown I'm gonna add Add a little of the dark blue to this green. Scrape some light green in there. Wow, you know, I like it. I'm I'm really wondering if I should do this or not. I could let it dry and then hand paint. That would probably be the smartest thing to do. Oh, what to do? I know what I'll do. I'm going to pause for a moment. I'm going to put this aside and experiment on something else and see what kind of trees I might be able to get. And then I'll decide if I want to do this or not. Let me turn around one final time to face you because I may be stopping here. <laughs> and let me bring you in for a little closer look at this. So there's our brush painted sky and then ribbon pour on, on the rest of it. And there's that luscious brown. I know there's a terrible shadow, but that uh, brown in there is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna stop, experiment, and I shall return. Okay, well, my tree experimentation was an utter failure. I don't even want to show you what I came up with. They were awful. And um, I would rather let this dry and then hand paint some trees. I do feel it needs, it needs something. Um, it's just too half and half with the sky and the, 
in the bottom and I just feel it would be nice to have some trees over this section here. So uh, I'll do it a I'll do a video on that when it's dry, how I'm going to hand paint some trees on there. So this was fun. I, I enjoyed it and um, I think I'll be trying some more landscapes and I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching folks and I'll see you next time.